Alright. To get the torpedo to track its target, you need a laser designator. This is just on a little piece that I can use to maneuver by hand. And the torpedo thruster launcher, uh, which I'm not going to use, but this is the proper way to set it up. You need a fixed mount, you need all this stuff here. Now you can read information when the torpedo is locked inside the torpedo tube. You can actually read information via YOLOL on displays and everything. You can pull information from the torpedo. But for this demonstration, I'm just going to manually activate the torpedo. So you need the X and Y offset values. You need to read the information. So I'm going to go into here. I'm going to activate the laser, which is hitting that plate that's over there on the right. And if you see, the value is now being written. So I have an X and I have a Y value for offset. Here, I have my YOLO chips that are constantly reading the information and then doing a times negative one. So that way the objective is to set the thrust value of the maneuvering thrusters to that, which you have to say the X thrust equals the offset value of the torpedo times negative one. That way it always takes whatever number it is. So if it's plus two times negative one, it'll make it negative two. If it's a negative number times a negative number, it should make it a positive number. Now, if I were to activate this, which I have custom thrust limits on here, and I also slowed down the maneuvering thrusters. So that way it should hit its target. I'll bet a little wobbly because it's moving pretty slowly, but it managed to hit its target. A further demonstration. I will move this plate further away. The Y thrust would be your maneuvering thrusters, and your offset is the information that it's reading from, which is coming from the laser uh, sensor. So whatever your value that you want to set equals the offset times the negative one, and then you repeat the line, and you have to do that for both X and Y offset. And that's all it takes.